Aaron, those uh, tiny homes will go up in the parking lot here at the Presbyterian Church on Riverside Drive, and those modular homes will be the first of its kind here on the Central Coast. You know, it's always been a solution that people talked about, but no one's ever really done. That's true, at least on the Central Coast. Tiny modular homes such as these often talked about as a solution for housing the homeless. They'll soon become a reality thanks to an $8 million state grant with the focus on housing those currently living along the Pajaro Riverbed. In the future, we've got the river levee project that's coming up, and so we're definitely going to have to address housing folks along the river, both sides of the river, because it's going to be a tremendous public works project that we're doing with the Army Corps of Engineers along the river. So this is a very important project. 34 of those modular tiny homes will go up here in the parking lot at the Presbyterian Church in the industrial part of Watsonville. A regional approach to addressing homeless encampments involving Santa Cruz and Monterey counties and the city of Watsonville. One of the things that we are going to provide right here is services as well. It's going to be wraparound services for, for the folks that are going to live here, you know, to help them take not just be housed, but take the next step forward and, and, and you know, have a better quality of life as well. Now, the Central Coast, one of 23 projects chosen by the governor as part of his uh, $200 million plan to address homeless encampments around the state.